Good evening, everybody. My name is Shirley, and I'm a life coach with the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise organization and the CEO of Ordinary Greatness. Um, I was talking to uh, an old college friend of mine last week, and he was asking me, you know, tell me about this company. I keep seeing videos up of you and some of your friends and stuff. What's this all about? And so I'd explained it to him. And he asked me, well, I don't see, uh, you know, very, he, was, he wasn't trying to be negative, but, you know, we try to find reasons why we shouldn't or can't do something. We're creatures of habit. And so he's like, yeah, well, I don't see a price. And so I told him the price. And he was like, wow, that much money? Like, I, you know, I've been in network marketing. And I said, this isn't network marketing. This is personal development. This is investing in yourself. It's helping you to become better at what you already know. It's, help, it's helping to teach you to extend yourself to learn about different things. It's helping you to be a better presenter at your profession or within your profession in your niche. And I said, and then while we're working on ourselves to become better, smarter, healthier, wiser, and better visionaries, it's allowing us an opportunity to work smarter, not harder, and to take advantage of things that are out there that some people do that other people's don't. Other people's, other people don't. And so, you know, I remember at a very young age, uh, you know, my 20s, being a single mom. And, you know, I would look at people having a certain lifestyle and I didn't have that lifestyle. And I wanted to know why. And so that's what allowed me to take chances in myself. I wanted a better life for my daughter than I had had. And the only way to do that was to stretch myself. Now, of course, back then, I didn't know I was stretching myself. I considered myself nosy and a chance taker. But I'll take that title any day of the week because that's what's gotten me to the point where I am today. I believe in investing in myself. I am my best product. And yes, I do network marketing. And I have been and am involved in a network marketing company because I do believe in certain products and concepts that the United States doesn't really promote much or you know goes against because people aren't getting kickbacks in other industries. So I'd love to go against the grain. But more, in com more importantly, I love the personal development aspect of this company because it changes the people that I'm around. Not that the people I know and love and grew up with are bad people, but some of us are limited. We're, we've been taught to have fears. We don't step out. We don't go over there because we may not see people that look like us over there. Or we don't tread on those waters because we might piss somebody off. You know what? I'll be pissed off if I couldn't give my daughter and my grandchildren a better life. I'll be pissed off if I can't do all the adventurous things that I do and take all the chances that I do. Now, I know what it's like to not have money and I know what it's like to have money and I know what it's like to lose money again and you'll hear me say that all the time because sometimes people look at other people and sit in judgment of them or oh their life is this way because they've been handed this and given that and you know there's been a couple times I've been at events and people used to say oh that's that minority woman over there you know or that minority company that got all the benefits and got all the breaks trust and believe the only thing that I got was a stereotype I never got any government contracts any deals because I was a minority it gave me a title um, and a stereotype, uh, but it doesn't even matter. My point is, is that you have to choose your company wiser. You have to understand that no one is going to give you the life that you dream about except for you. And don't sit on the sidelines and say, oh, I wonder if or they can do. You can do it too. Now, is it going to take some work? You're damn right it is. Is it going to take courage? Whoo, like you can't believe. But I'm going to tell you, a company that we invested in, you know, we get reports on companies as part of our benefit um, of being in the Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise organization. So we get reports, and we have a choice whether we'd like to buy into that company or not. And, you know, we can choose to opt out or opt in. So when the first report came out, I believe it was in August, I didn't have the funding really to invest at that time. I was putting my money somewhere else. So the market dropped, and as most people get scared when the market drops and they hear things like, oh, my God, I'm going to lose everything, I said, you know what? If it came from my company, so far our record is pretty damn good. When the price dropped and I had the available funds in my IRA, I bought it through my IRA. And I bought it on the 30th of November. Um, yeah, of November. And on the 19th today, it hit its target. I don't know what the percentage is, but all I know, it's damn near three times its amount in value. And, you know, I don't really count the pennies and the numbers because I do things because it'll help me further my life 
or help me to help other people. And I believe if I live right and pay it forward and share what I know, that good things will come to me. So I don't need to add the pennies or subtract them when I lose. It'll come back. And that's the beauty of Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise. When you meet and see the people involved and you see their vision and you see their focus and you see how kind they are to themselves and others, you just want to be a part of it. So I am telling you to learn how to take chances and not think that everything out there is a scam or it can't be true. You know, some things are, but do your homework, do your research. But if people are publicly sharing with you on their personal time, on their personal pages, on their personal websites, value in something, take some stock, no pun intended, and, and do some research and find out what the hell they're talking about as opposed to sitting back and saying them and they and must be nice. Oh God, I hate that phrase must be nice, but it is nice to be able to believe in yourself and have faith and trust in the company you keep. So I guess my message tonight is twofold. Um, buy good companies, invest in yourself. All right, threefold, I can't add. And uh, pay attention to the company you keep. I hope everybody has a great night. Um, I just wanted to share the excitement that a, an investment in a company that I took on November 30th did over 100% in, by the 19th of December. And I know this is a long video, but oh well, it's 100% better. <laughs>